Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Giovanni Ivile from Open Warm. I'm an Open Warm engineer and co-founder. And today I will present uh, a speedrun of the of WormSim. Uh, WormSim is an application that was developed by the Open Warm team um, uh, as part of a Kickstarter project. Uh, its main goal is to uh, expose to a wider, a wider audience um, Open Warm outputs because we have a lot of outputs in the Open Warm project. Not all, not all of them are visible. This is a way to make them nicely available to a wider audience and more usable, user-friendly. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump into it. Um, let's log in. And this is our worm. Uh, this is our worm creation process. So I'm going to go through and pick a color for my cuticle. I'm going to pick purple because of my favorite color. Ahead, we need to give it a name while we create our friendly worm. I call it Neo because it lives in the worm matrix. Next, and then save. We have created our worm. So now we can see that uh, in this main, this is the main screen of the worm sim application, the main navigation screen. And you can see we have a virtual picture page where we can explore the worm uh, uh, anatomy. And we can look at the different layers, neurons, muscles, put back the cuticle on, the purple cuticle on, and zoom in, and look at the section. And this is um, a compact uh, 3D viewer of the worm anatomy and a, 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 a full of fully available uh, version of the uh, worm browser can be found at browser.worm.org which is not part of the worm sim, but it's always nice to highlight it. This is something we did a few years ago, and it's still out there for anybody who's interested in worm anatomy. Going back to the worm sim, uh, you can see you have two buttons up here and a little pane down here, uh, a panel where you can access worm tips. So you can just navigate, and it, gets, it gives you all sorts of interesting tips about C. elegans or uh, the open world project. So let's jump into the actual uh, meat of the worm sim. There's two uh, open worm outputs you can access right now. One is the muscular system, and the other one is the simplified nervous system browser. So let's look at the muscular system first. And now it's loading. Uh, this is a customized Geppetto instance that sits behind the worm sim and should pop up in an instant. There we go. So this is a simulation, a recording of a simulation of uh, a mecha the mechanical, uh, the mechanical parts of the worm, if you will. And this, as you can see, it shows the cuticle, but I can make it transparent so that you can see each individual muscle of the C. elegans as it wiggles in the browser in all its beauty. Uh, I can zoom in. I can. Pause the recording. I can select individual muscle cells uh, by clicking up here. And it shows me, for example, I selected this one, uh, VR16, and I can play it again. And it shows me the activation signal. As you can see, uh, the activation signal goes up and down. And when the activation signal is up, it means that the muscle cell is comp is a uh, flexing uh, as a bodybuilder. If I play again and pause uh, when the amplitude is uh, minimal, you can see that it's elongated. So it's, it's basically showing how the worm wriggles and showing how the activation signals um, drives each individual muscle to lead to this macro behavior of, of wriggling. Uh, and this is uh, the mechanical simulation, as you can see. There's also a nice tutorial um, that I'm not gonna go through because we don't have enough time. Uh, but yeah, but there's all sorts of nice things you can see in here. You can explore the various different sets. Uh, I'm gonna jump back into the main navigation screen and show you very quickly the simplified nervous system browser. This is meant to be a way to easily navigate the connectum of the worm, as you know, uh, famously, 302 neurons. Um, 
and uh, this is a nice way to explore connections between the neurons and some metadata. Uh, all right. So you can see by clicking uh, on the worm brain, you can you can see uh, the name of the neuron that you're clicking on, and uh, if it if it has been adopt, adopted as part of our Kickstarter, is also showing you who adopted it. And in particular, this this neuron here, RIVR, uh, was adopted by Will Wheaton, that you know from Star Trek as the uh, ancient crash Um I'm going to zoom out and show you how this is actually the worm's connectome. Uh, as you can see the body of the worm. And uh, if I zoom back in on the head of the worm, you can see I can click on different neurons and the colors here show me uh, what's an input, what's an output, and what's both input and output. Uh, it's a nice way to kind of uh, identify what kind of connections are there and visualize this. Here we go. So that's uh, pretty much uh, a walkthrough of what we have in the worm sim right now. Uh, also here we have a tutorial uh, that you can go through and it will explain how to use this and how to basically interact with what we have in there. Another feature that we have in the in the Connectome Explorer is the connectivity matrix, uh, which is a blueprint of the brain of the worm. And as you hover, it'll sh it shows you uh, each dot represents a connection, a synapse. Um, so if you, you can click on each of the dots and it will highlight uh, the neurons that make up the connection. Uh, there we go. So yeah, that's pretty much a walkthrough of the worms and go back to the navigation screen. Um, and that's everything. Um, for this flesh doll and worms and speed. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, see you around.